tonight with the opening statement, just the overall thoughts on tonight's victory? Well, first, I, I appreciate our students, our, our fans that came tonight. Uh, we're going to need them uh, here in, in the next three, four weeks because uh, we're going we're going to be down number wise of players, and and I think the the fans and the students saw tonight. It, this group of guys, eight guys, went out there and fought really hard. We had a big lead. I, you know, it's funny in college basketball, everybody thinks fourteen or sixteen points is a big lead. It's really not anymore. And they got hot in the second half. Then we came down and really executed it at the end of the game. And uh, for having a lot of new players out there, and Brian Taylor, a freshman, playing 29 minutes in his first college game, I, I was really proud of how they stayed together at the end. You talk about those newcomers, but at the end, it was the senior guard, Godwin, who was able to convert that three-point play that proved to be the difference. Just what you see out of him in the second half really kind of seemed to take control and kind of run the offense there? Well, I, I think in the first half, he was, he was trying to find his shot. In the second half, he let his shot come to him, and he, he knocked down a wide open three. He got to coming off the ball screens at a, at a high rate. And again, it's what the preseason's about. Start get your feel back. And I thought in the second half, he got his feel back. You mentioned Brian. Uh, Braylon Bridges made his debut as a flame, and Deion Edgem after having his fit last year. Just those three getting to see him out on the floor tonight, what did you see out of that trio? Well, it's fun, and it's what ought to excite our, our fans and it ought to excite people about this team is we got a lot of different pieces once we get all our pieces back together. And so I, I think these are nothing but great learning experiences for them. And, and you, you can do all you want in practice. Ryan Taylor was, flat, was, was gassed. He couldn't go any longer. And uh, I had a lineup out there I thought I'd never see as long as I was here, but we had to play with those five. And, uh, again, I thought Jacob Wiley came off the bench and played really good. I thought Travell, he continues to play hard and do good things. And, you know, again, we put the ball in Mike Diggins' hand to make decisions at the end, score it or hit open people, and he made a great decision every time. Maybe a little closer than you would have liked, but certainly something that you can take away and use moving forward. How does a win like this in this environment and that ability to hold on at the end help you and your team move forward throughout the season if you'll have a number of close games you would expect? Well, I think more than anything, and uh, everybody has their own philosophy about scheduling. I, our exhibition game was scheduled against a team that I knew was good. This game was scheduled against a team that I knew was good. It, it does you no good uh, it, to come out and play teams that won't compete and don't have run good things. And we had to really guard. And, and so, uh, as I told the guys, it, it, to answer your question, the Parkside game came back today because we had to execute at the end of that one. And today we had to execute. We had to guard at the end. We had to block out. We had to do things that are about winning. It doesn't matter who you're playing. It's about winning. And so, I, uh, again, it's a step. I'm happy for all the young guys. They're getting a lot of minutes, and, and they're going to get a lot of minutes for the next three, four weeks. Those guys will have an opportunity on Friday to take on a, a ranked Memphis team. What's the message to the team moving forward these next couple of days as you get to, set on, set to take on a nationally ranked Memphis Tigers program? Well, since the day I got here, we, we've never been afraid to play people. And we went to Kentucky. We, we went to Colorado last year. We're going to Memphis. Uh, I, I think it's, it's the greatest thing for your program. And, uh, again, do I wish we had all our pieces that when I scheduled the game? I, I had. Yes, I do. But, like I told them, at the end of the day, we're going in there and, and be who we are. And there are going to be 19,000 in there. It's going to be an unbelievable learning experience. And, and uh, I, I know this, we'll have a great game plan put together, and, and we'll go there and compete. I, I talked to NBA people today that told me they could have three lottery picks, maybe four. And so I, I know what, what's in front of us, but I think those things are great for your program.